So, if you go for the experimental setup of the electrolysis of water, actually you can take one electrolytic cell, you take an electrolytic cell, an electrolytic cell is made up of an electrolytic vessel, wherein which for this electrolytic vessel you just uh, you create two small holes, through the small hole you try to insert two carbon electrodes. This is the first carbon electrode and uh, this is the second uh, carbon electrode and you just cap it with the, the glass tubes like this, glass tubes like this and uh, here you place the, you fill the electrolytic solution, fill the electrolytic solution, fill the electrolytic solution. here if you take uh, the for these two carbon rods in the electrolytic cell after filling the electrolytic solution these are the two glass tubes inverted glass tubes actually they will create the bubbling action the purpose of placing the two glass tubes over these two glass rods these two glass rods first you have to connect it to the battery you attach them with the conducting wire platinum conducting wire and you attach them to the battery this battery will act as a power source it's a power source and uh, this battery contains two terminals one positive terminal and one negative terminal the carbon rod which is connected to the positive end of the battery the carbon rod which is connected to the positive end of the battery okay you can see the path of the current the current flows from the positive end of the battery okay this this carbon rod is connected to the positive end of the battery so this carbon rod will act as anode electrode anode is given a positive sign convention and this next carbon rod which is a cathode electrode which is given a negative sign convention cathode carbon cathode carbon, anode carbon, anode carbon, anode carbon and this is the electrolyte, dilute, dilute H2SO4, dilute water, acidulated. acidulated water we are saying dilute water because we are adding acid along with water and we are adding more amount of water that is why we are calling it as acidulated water and this is uh, electrolytic cell electrolytic cell and uh, here in the process of electrolysis you find that this uh, water molecules because both these electrodes the carbon electrodes one which is acting as anode electrode and the other one which is acting as cathode electrode both of them here they are acting as inert electrodes and uh, you know very well that in this process of electrolysis electrolysis process involves a redox reaction it involves a redox reaction it involves a redox reaction and in this redox reaction it involves two processes one is reduction and the other one is oxidation. So, here if you take these two will act as electrodes anode carbon electrode and cathode carbon electrode. So, reaction at reaction at anode electrode is oxidation, oxidation is called de electronation. oxidation is de-electronation. So, take the water molecules, water molecule liquid undergoing oxidation, take 2 moles of water, it participates in oxidation to give 4 H plus ions plus oxygen gas plus 4 electrons. Let this be 
equation 1. At uh, similarly reaction taking place at reaction reaction taking place at cathode electrode at cathode the process is reduction and reduction involves oxidation involves deelectronation so reduction involves that is electronation if it is electronation then again the reaction taking place is that is you can take four molecules of water that is you can take four molecules of water it adds liquid it gains four electrons because reduction involves electronation electronation involves gain of electrons oxidation involves deelectronation deelectronation of oxidation involves loss of electrons loss of electrons are shown on the product side during oxidation and uh, gain of electrons are shown on the reactant side during reduction at cathode electrode so to complete the reaction here you can take that is 4 OH minus ions plus we can take 2 moles of H2 gas let this be equation 2 now combining the two equations that is equation 1 and equation 2 we can get the net equation for the electrolysis of water but before going to the net equation of the electrolysis of water once again I am going to highlight what is happening in the what is happening at the reaction taking place at the anode electrode and at cathode electrode at, an, at anode electrode the process is oxidation oxidation involves deelectronation deelectronation involves loss of electrons and the lost electrons are shown on the product side and interestingly here at anode during oxidation the two molecules of water using the inert electrode that is carbon electrode it is giving away the gas that is oxygen gas once the oxygen gas is produced at the carbon inert electrode at carbon inert electrode at anode electrode we can see that there is a bubbling action taking place here ok this is anode with this electrode carbon rod which is acting as anode electrode is connected to the positive end of the battery it is anode so this this circles which are able to see these are the bubbles which represents bubbles which represents oxygen gas likewise if you go for cathode during el electrolysis at cathode during the electrolysis using carbon rod as an inert electrode reduction pr process takes place and that is electronation and during reduction process four molecules of water gains electrons and it gives away two moles of hydrogen gas two moles of hydrogen gas is obtained at cathode and four OH minus ions are also produced so we need to add the first equation first equation and second equation but in the meantime the hydrogen gas which is obtained at cathode is again shown in the form of bubbling action at the carbon electrode which is connected to the negative end of the battery so this gas obtained is H2 gas add one and two equations at the anode electrode and cathode electrode we are going to get the net equation therefore by taking the net equation that is equation 1 and equation 2 so here from equation 1 and equation 2 when you add both these equations that is from the equation 1 2 moles of H2O liquid gives rise to 4 H plus ions plus 1 mole of O2 gas plus 4 electrons again second equation 4 moles of water liquid gives rise to 4 moles of water plus 4 electrons gain of electrons is taking place 4 OH minus ions plus 2 moles of H2 gas add both these equations when you add both these equations 4 electrons and 4 electrons on the reactant side and product side of anode and cathode they get cancelled and I think uh, anything more we need to cancel no we cannot cancel anything so for 2 moles of water plus 4 moles of water will give you 6 moles of water liquid giving rise to 4 H plus ions and 4 OH minus ions again when you add these two ions 4 protons and 4 hydroxy ions when you add 4 positive charges and 4 negative charges they get nullified and you have 4 hydrogens and 4 OH groups 
that will give rise to four molecules of water which is liquid plus we have two moles of hydrogen gas and one mole of oxygen gas so therefore h2 gas plus o2 gas is obtained so this is the net equation which is obtained in the electrolytic process but what is interesting here is in the reactant side we have six moles of water here we have six moles of water is there on the reactant side and we have in the product side four moles of water so six moles of water and four moles of water they are in the opposite side so they can therefore you can again subtract can again subtract this equation six water molecules minus four water molecules will give you two that is six water molecules six h2o minus four h2o molecules will give you two h2o molecules so take two h2o remodify this therefore final equation is two h2o liquid gives rise to we have two moles of hydrogen gas and one mole of oxygen gas so two moles of hydrogen gas plus one mole of oxygen gas is obtained so this is the final equation in the electrolysis of acetylated water so during the electrolysis of acetylated water the conclusion what we can create is during the electrolysis of acetylated water that is two moles of water two moles of acetylated water in the presence of inert electrodes that is carbon rod inert electrodes they are giving two gases that is hydrogen gas two moles of hydrogen gas is obtained at the anode two moles of hydrogen gas is obtained at the cathode sorry two moles of hydrogen gas is obtained at the cathode and one mole of oxygen gas is obtained at anode electrode so therefore this completes the complete concept which is involved in the electrolysis that is electrolysis of acetylated water this is a very important topic for your examination point of view